<laughs> will be oh. live, but I did fingers crossed. Oh, so. yeah. So, yeah. Hi, everybody. Hello. If you Here thought we, we were going live on YouTube, eh, you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're live on Instagram today because okay. we still can't figure it out. I don't know when we will, but. We figured it out. They just. Yeah, there was. It's an YouTube's error. fault. Yeah, it. it well, it's probably that app's fault. Mm, maybe. So Why can't you go? Do you have to be on an app okay. to do YouTube? Well, here's the deal. Let's talk to all the YouTubers okay. out there. Okay, yeah. If anybody knows, if oh, anybody fine. knows, let us know. So what I read was if you don't have a 1,000 followers on YouTube, you just can't go live. Oh. But mm. I downloaded a three third-party app. So like a three-way. So, <laughs> like a menage a trois <laughs> um, uh, between YouTube us and whatever whoever huh. that other person is so um, that's well, how we went live before we got went through this maybe third we could do a, just a little informal poll right now hey Instagram world what, I guess it's not I don't know you might be a little biased yeah you might do you be. like would you find us on YouTube or do you prefer just to see like the little thing Yarn bars live on Instagram. Are is that your habit, or wh what do you think? We need a little feedback. Well, I do know that um, I didn't ask someone... you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Someone told me. Well, when I found out you weren't going live on Instagram, I just went and found you on YouTube. Hmm. So, I mean, I think it's just, just as easy to go to YouTube as it is to Instagram. Maybe if you know about since it. we've got you know almost three thousand Instagram followers. Yeah. Like, if a third of you went and, and just subscribed to us on YouTube. YouTube then we could just like click onto YouTube without doing this how weird easy app would thing. that be click hey, yeah I know mm. it'd be awesome that would be good because it just makes all the other download processes like a lot easier simple so simpler. for moi mm -hmm. so <laughs> I know you've kind of taken that on I guess I I know. don't know why <laughs> I'm not a techie person. Oh, I don't know my how goodness. my brain managed to figure to figure that stuff yeah. out. So, yeah. okay, any old way. But look at that beautiful vest you are wearing. Holiday slipover. Yes, it's super cute. A little longer in the back. That's very cute. Um, knit on a size. Uh, 13 and a 15. I can't even see the shoulder I seam. I am telling you, that was the wow. coolest trick I've ever, That's ever cool. tried. The way she has, says you just do a regular cast on, mm -hmm. and the way she has you pick up your stitches is between the stitches. And we talked about that last week. And it that's, feels different than yeah. the coconuts, to be honest, really? with, me, with yeah. you. It, it was just smooth. I, you, you know, you can't see it. but petite, A petite knits pattern. I love that. It is very simple and elegant. It's, I think that's it's awesome. It's funny it's called petite knits because I was thinking on the way over because I felt like there might have been a couple of modifications that I could make mm -hmm. for someone petite. But then I just remembered the name of the design is petite knits. The designer, <laughs> yeah. She right. probably is pretty so, petite. Well, she she's looks like petite big. in a different way than me. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cute on all bodies yeah and it's I would cute. like to make one and too. a lighter weight mm -hmm. would be good this mm -hmm. I actually used mm -hmm. um, I used our Rowan Tweed Haze nice but I actually paired it with another yarn which I didn't grab Chris because it's not mohair it's probably more of a bulky yarn or a heavy mm -hmm. worsted that I paired this with so that's why it's but I got gauge mm-hmm and I didn't really make any modifications except I started with a smaller size because generally I do because my shoulders are petite. <laughs> but then it kind of grows into the rest of me. <laughs> well, so the pattern was written like she writ wrote it. She wrote it. She wrote it for two strands of mohair. She Three actually, strands of mohair. no, it's a bulky weight. So she wrote it for, I think, an Aran weight plus two strands of mohair. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, we definitely have those yeah, options. Yeah, the gauge is, it's a bulky gauge. On a 15. I actually got gauge on a 13, mm -hmm. but you know how I am. Once I get past here, I switch to like a, a, a bigger a needle trick. just to kind of give me a little bit more I, room. Yeah, so, I, yeah. But I did try to do the ribbing on a 15, and it just looked kind of sloppy, so I went back to a 13 okay. for the ribbing. Mm. And then you have to do an Italian bind off, which nice. I kind of had to keep a video mm -hmm. on at all times mm -hmm. to um 
to nice. see it to That's figure nice. it out. So it does make a difference. That's really cute. It's it's snug. We talked Doesn't about how out. this could be a stash buster too. If you've got, you know, a couple of DK weight yarns in your stash that you don't and you know, you look at those, come in, grab a mohair yeah. or two to go with and it would be yeah, it's a great And we are project. talking about mohair today. Speaking so of speaking mohair, of mohair, we, I guess it would be an honest thing to say that we had a love affair with fuzzy with yarn mohair, mohair <laughs> um, because all the I have so many samples at home that have um, mohair attached to it I just mm -hmm. all the time and I even looking back years ago mm -hmm. I did it all the time so what is mohair mohair <laughs> is a hair. soft wool that comes from angora goats thank you producer girl uh, <laughs> it's sometimes called the diamond fiber because of its luster and sheen yeah, nash, i don't know mm -hmm. how and you can strength. tell but it has oh yeah strength yeah, it's very it's a strong, strong and it's lightweight and usually and warm. it's blended with something else you rarely we, will get it on its own you we can do 100 percent yeah. mohair we don't stock any um it i think by itself the 100 percent mohair that i've seen is kind of feels coarser but the silk when you do the silk yeah. in there that gives it even more sheen and more strength i think so um and the mohair the tweed haze actually is mohair and alpaca mm. so mohair can be blended with right. a lot of things yeah bottom line it's super yeah. soft and mostly what we have is blended with silk so and shiny yep um you can carry it with anything and it will not change your gauge Yep, but mm -hmm. if you want it to change your gauge, mm -hmm. I mean, you can go up in needle size and comfortably mm -hmm. move into a, a different size yeah, needle you can and make not, it do that. it's not going to look like goosey goosey. Mm -hmm. So, well, classified as a lace weight yarn. So, any, so you if know, you, if you knit it traditional to gauge, lace right? shawl with mohair, you know, is sheer and airy and warm. Right. Are you warm? Um, it's a nice little layer of warmth. <laughs> oh, Renetta mm -hmm. says, also, a fun fact, it's combed from the goat, not sheared. Oh. oh. So, interesting. Thanks. Uh -huh. Thank you. Kind of like We all Angora, like our hair combed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I bet that's nice. Uh, well, I think a lot of people kind of look at these and sort of wonder what what are they going to use it for? Mm -hmm. Like, Because maybe they don't want to do something mm -hmm. super lacy, but we love to... Um, we love to add it to things. And one of the ways that I like to do that is to kind of change the color. So I've always told people, you know, depending on the original yarn, how you want to change it. So if you want to go like with a, add this, mm -hmm. sorry, the sticker just came off. Oopsies. Um, like adding this to something would, I think, change it to more of a, I don't know, kind of a, kind of blurry it but I've always kind of equated it with and a lot of people in Montana will except you um, <laughs> will recognize that these two um, these th this Oops. artwork is actually well these are just copies obviously not very good renditions either but they're Russell Chatham and he is a Livingston artist and he always had sort of what I always used to call kind of a milky overlay so it Is just always alive? have a haze. I'm not sure. Did you? I I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I will check on that. But um, it just always has like a milky haze. And so that is what I do a like light to. light color of mohair. Mm -hmm. Right. But you will get a haze anyway. You know, it'll be mm -hmm. hazy no matter what you do. But um, adding something like this will definitely bring a color down. Uh, well, so, you all, a lot of you know about the haze. I mean, can we see that? Kids still okay. yeah, haze. This is a sweater that I knit a while ago. This is the ranunculus, and I added, I took a yarn that changed color, but the mohair that I picked was probably really more in overall in the middle here. Mm -hmm. But you kind of see it sort of. Sort of got it. It just. It, it blurs the lines a little bit. Right. You don't see the, like. The, Isn't the line that a Justin Timberlake album? Blurred lines. Blurred is that lines? The, is that the name of his song? album? I don't know. Maybe it's a song. Huh. Sorry, I had no idea you were Justin person. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's, 
Okay. We know okay. you're watching. Oh, yeah, Let's right. See. Okay, so this, okay, what are we talking about now? Oh, well, I'm going to bring this up. This is a piece that I did a few years ago. I did design it. Sorry, I don't have the pattern, but if you were really desperate, I could probably supply you with it. Mm -hmm. So basically, I took um, three took colors. Mohair. Yeah, three colors of mohair. And then, yeah, I know there's, there's some sparkle, sparkle in there. And we do have some sparkle. Mm, sparkle that mohair right there is would nice. be really pretty. So I blended these. So I added, you know, two strands of this, dropped one, added another one. So you can kind of see. That's one thing I love about mohair. You can almost paint with it. Like you can create mm -hmm. the color that you want. That's just, that. it's like a giant palette that you can add to another mm -hmm. yarn and just change it however you want. So if you want to go darker, add a darker mohair and then you'll end up, you know, more of a marled. Mm -hmm. a real, you will know if you go darker. Mohair is good to carry with another fiber um, to strengthen something too, like for socks. That's pretty mm -hmm. commonly done. Yeah, um, I remember. Reinforce your heels and toes. That's a cat boardy um, trick. Trick. Adding mohair to your socks are going to help. It's going to strengthen the footbed of your sock. Mm -hmm. Andrea Maori has a Maori cute pattern that actually does. Her, but like she didn't that she does it on purpose. And that one is called Suska's Socks. Mm -hmm. Okay, cute. It's just a really pretty pink, fluffy. Mm -hmm. Look at that pico edge. How that is so is cute. That? Mm. Yeah. And those are tiny socks, so those would be a good gift. Great gift. Like shorter, mm -hmm. like you wouldn't have yeah. to knit yeah. the whole cuff yep. on really that. Really cute. Um, okay, so some samples that are in the shop that we have for you to see. We've got this one right here, the Lenny hat that Ashley knit, and that was one of the On the Rocks box from last year, one of the projects. And that was originally a fingering weight. She has it carried carried with a fingering weight, which she carried it with a perennial. Mm -hmm. um, and mohair. And, and that, mohair to match. Mm -hmm. I wasn't trying and to really honestly, change the And the, honestly, the pattern itself did not call for that. Am I right? I think it I'm called sure. for um, just a fingering, or, or maybe a DK weight, because we I feel like you kind of brought sure. that up to a DK weight. Lenny hat. Mm -hmm. Right. Go look it up. Okay. If a pattern calls for a DK weight, fold a finger with a mohair, and you will. Yeah, pretty DK close. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Love note sweater. Also, the ranunculus are perfect projects to. You could even do mohair by itself. Two or three strands and you'd get something really sheer on a size 10 or 11 needle and it you know beautiful so love note sweater this one we did with mohair and fingering weight so it's more solid looking um and we just talked about the ranunculus this is a nice example of what mohair does with fingering um, for the shaker rag top so i think that might be a Decent visual. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we held meadow and a strand of mohair together, and for each stripe section, the meadow, you know, was carried along with the mohair, and then it was mohair by itself on maybe a size six needle. Um, so, and that's gorgeous. So you can see kind of that, and we we tried to match the color too. So it's very tone on tone. And I really do feel like you can wear this. You know, a cool summer evening, you're not going to get that hot. No. No, I wear mine so, in the summer. Right. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. So that's an, another example of mohair. This is a good one. Okay. I'll, I'll change here. And I'll hold this one. Okay. Keep going. This is that, you know, super popular church mouse um, shoulder cozy. And that one, you know, you can do all kinds of things with it. I needed something quick for... A fancy party in the UK. Where's the fancy stuff? The what? The fluffy stuff. So I doubled up some mohair. I missed it somewhere. I doubled up mohair, size 13 needle, shoulder cozy, and then I added just a little bit of bling at the bottom too. Um, you yeah, know, it's not hard knitting. It's I that know. time of year for bling. It is. We have a little bit of this. So that would be. So it's two strands of mohair up here. And then I just, anyway, it was, it's not hard knitting, but right. it's lovely and warm. 
and it was quick and beautiful it makes a big impact mm -hmm. i like it so um, this is another coat a uh, little shoulder mm -hmm. warmer that you made i think it's called getting warmer mm -hmm. that's an espostrico and, um, this was actually a heavier weight yarn but you paired a sparkling mohair mm -hmm. it has a little sequins um, sequin that yarn has been discontinued unfortunately yeah. but it is a mohair and <laughs> but we do have some um, we do have sparkle glittery and that would be just as nice right, right so that's another nice easy wrap to do um and it is it just adds mm -hmm. it just it, it just adds a bit of richness Mm -hmm. I think the mohair does. I do too. Um, this is actually kind of exciting. It's the first time we've <gasps> ever talked about this. Another Midori pattern. It's so she did the snowy, ranunculus. Snowy forest. Can you see the sparkle? The sparkle. It's there. I don't uh -huh. know if it's showing up on camera, but there's sparkle. The, oh, it's so, so soft. So what yarn is this? That's Andorra. Okay. A sport weight. A sport weight. And the Lux Lame from laying yes, right here so gorgeous mm -hmm. we and were thinking about doing it in white too right so and many isn't choices. this going to be a class it will in january we yeah. don't have it scheduled yet yeah, but it's but, a january class um you i think this will be really fun and Lindsay's teaching it mm -hmm. right yeah so quick project too um and yeah fabulous with mohair what size was that on uh maybe a 10 mm -hmm. a pretty good size it goes fast it in january and mm -hmm. wear it in february in the darkest, coldest <gasps> yes <laughs> well wouldn't it be fun in a bright pink mm -hmm. yes yeah or yeah yeah coral yeah mm -hmm. cool um or warm let's see uh what else snedward engine ashley knit this and she carried two different mohairs throughout well, okay. I think she, you color matched, right? Basically, no. I went of? navy. I went darker on the okay, mohair so for the body. Yeah, you can see I that. Because I wanted a marled effect. Okay, but okay. Can here, totally see. here, I just held that green mohair uh, with the with yellow, the color kind of the yellow green with the orange. I had held it with the brown, mm -hmm. and I held oh, it. Oh, so with the, the mohair is carried with the orange too. Mm -hmm. That's okay. pretty. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. And so you can I might see have what, to wear this because you can see what mohair does when you do kind it. of marl it. Different, you know, at the bottom there it looks mm -hmm. beautiful. Yeah, you definitely. And it's will pretty see more subtle. It, yeah, it it's just gorgeous. darkened that teal up a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. So Isabel Kramer pattern Sned Renungen. and you won't even recognize it. No, because she it her just looks sample so is just different. two color. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this is Bonaventure. You did a great job with your color work yeah. on here. I think I'm choosing me. colors and stuff. Yeah, I think you helped. Just me. beautiful. Uh, really pretty. Probably not. Pretty okay. pretty. Um, Gorgeous. Um, let's do the airline scarves because we haven't that, like that's by itself. Okay, Alexandria's here. airplane scarf. We talked about it recently. Remember when oh, we popped and we on? Oh, did a little video. Yeah. Yep. So knit in the round, size eight needle. And then you just get this lovely, light, lofty tube. Just one strand? Mm-hmm, one strand. Mm. It is warm. Oh, but light. And light. And I think we used a lot of the mm -hmm. neighborhood. We used some hand-dyed from neighborhood. That's where we're getting some of the color So variation. some of the variation. Yep. Um, but it's also beautiful by itself, you know, any one of these colors. Well, um, or Connie you could did a white it. one, and that was really striking, was and really she pretty. beaded it. We've had a few people do the You beating. could do really deliberate stripes, too, with, you know, a couple of different mohairs. That would be really pretty. Um, anyway, it's, it cuts, the sky's the limit. Here's a great way to make a color change. So the, the base, this is the Shady Grove hat, mm -hmm. and it's really a DK weight. We didn't really change nope. the needles or anything. We stuck with the original pattern. Um, but the original yarn that you kind of see in here was a very light color with a very speckles, light speckle. A hand dye. And so mm -hmm. we took, let's see, it looks very much like this color here to go with it. And it just took it in a different, it's a really a fun hat mm -hmm. to make. It's easy. So Karen knit this and she could have chosen, you know, like a even a white with that hand dyed speckle. It would have changed the look a lot yeah completely um, but yeah or a pale 
something really pale. Anyway, you know. There's just it's so like many a, options. It's it's art slash science experiment. It's right. pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough hours in the day. Yeah. Yep. So All right. we also have the shibui very quickly. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes, we do. Yeah, it is lovely. Absolutely lovely. A little bit different fiber content, so it feels a little softer. This actually sweater actually I think is made for that yarn. It's called Joplin. Cool. A great little. Uh, we've got the hard copies, and that is with the with the cloud. The, yep. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is the cloud. Fabulous, fabulous. Okay. Well, I wish we had time to sit and knit because I, I want to knit all this stuff. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. I think we covered everything. Time Alrighty. to open the shop. Well, we'll see you guys soon. Have Bye. a good day. Bye. Thanks for watching.